about myself. My name is Nero. I am a girl. I am twenty-one years old. I am a pupil. I am in the third form. I live in United States. I am tall. I have green eyes and dark hair. I have a family. My family is big. I have a mother, a father, a sister, and a brother. My mother is a teacher. My father is a driver. I go to school every day. Usually, I have five lessons. My favorite subject is maths. I am a good pupil. My hobby is swimming. I also like to read books and go for a walk with my dog Sam. My school. I like going to school very much. I've got lots of friends, and most of the lessons are interesting. The best thing about my school is that there are some fascinating teachers who help me to study better. I love studying physics because I understand anything about life when I study it. The worst thing about school is homework. My favorite book. I'm going to talk about a book that I've read recently. The book's name is Pinocchio. The main characters of the book are Pinocchio, his father Cepetto, and a big whale. The book is about an adventure involving mainly Pinocchio and his father. Every moment of the story is very interesting and important. I think the most interesting event is when Pinocchio saves his father from a big whale. At the end of the story, Pinocchio becomes a real boy, and he shows his love for his father. I enjoyed the book a lot. My favorite season. I think winter is the best season. In the winter, it is usually cold. Sometimes it is freezing. However, I like winter because it snows. When it snows, I go skiing with my family. I also enjoy eating roasted sweet potatoes in the winter. They taste really good. Best of all, winter has Christmas. At Christmas, I get many presents from my parents and friends. For these reasons, winter is my favorite season. My winter holidays. Winter holidays start at the end of December and finish in January. We celebrate New Year and Christmas at this time. We don't go to school and can spend a lot of time outdoors. We always ski and skate at this time. I like to play snowballs and make a snowman with my friends. In the evening, I like to read books and watch TV. I like winter very much. My summer holidays. Summer holidays start in June and finish at the end of August. We don't go to school and can spend a lot of time outdoors. In summer, I can go to the river to swim with my parents. Sometimes we go to the forest with our friends. In August, my family goes to the seaside. I like to spend time there. My sister and I go swimming a lot. My parents like to sunbathe. In the evening, we go for a walk, play different games, and read. My teacher. In my school days, my favorite teacher was my English teacher, who was my class teacher too. He is a very good teacher and explains things to his students in the simplest way. His presentation skills are very good, and students listen to him very patiently. He tells stories and makes topics more interesting by involving the students in group activities. I was very fond of my teacher, though he is strict. He is very kind-hearted and gives chocolates and candies to his students on special occasions.
He appreciates the gifts given by the students and loves them very much. My dream house. I have a dream of everything, a house of my dreams that has been made according to my needs, as I am very much artistic. I want a separate room for myself that has all the colors of life in it. I want a room that has all the equipment that is needed for creating beautiful art. My room house comprises of a personal balcony in it where I can stand and wave at my friends and can feel the rain coming into my room. In my opinion, a dream house should also have a beautiful personal bathroom in it where I can take a shower in a beautiful ceramic bathtub. My favorite subject. I learn many subjects in school, but the one I enjoy learning is history. History tells us how people lived ages ago. It also tells us how men had to struggle to make the world a better place to live in. Many pupils, however, do not like to read history. They say that there are too many names and dates to remember. But they do not understand that if we do not know about the past, we cannot understand the present properly. In fact, only a study of history will make us realize that everything we do today is the result of what our grandfathers and others before them did in the past. So, history is a long story of man's struggle through the ages. As we read the story, we learn many interesting things. I love history so much that I have a lot of history books in my house. Some day, I might even write a history book myself. My favorite teacher. Mr. Nero is my math teacher. She is my favorite teacher. Mr. Nero has short curly hair and wears thick glasses, which make her look strict. However, she is actually very approachable and is always ready to lend an ear to our problems. She is motherly and cares very much for us. I remember once when I fell and hurt my knee. Mr. Nero helped me to stop the bleeding and took me to the clinic. I was very grateful to her. I used to dislike maths when I was younger because I found it far too complicated. Mr. Nero always makes maths lessons interesting and easy to understand. She is very patient in explaining maths problems too, and always makes sure everyone understands. Under her guidance. My maths has improved by leaps and bounds. I have grown to love maths, and I always score high marks in my maths tests now. And it's all because of my favorite teacher. Science and its effect on our lives. One of the most striking features of the present century is the progress of science. And its effects on almost every aspect of social life. Building on the foundation laid by the predecessors, the scientists of today are carrying their investigation into ever widening fields of knowledge. Modern civilization depends largely on the scientist and inventor. We depend on the doctor who seeks the cause and cure of disease, the chemist who analyzes our food and purifies our water, the entomologist who wages war on the insect pests, the engineer who conquers time and space, and a host of other specialists who aid in the development of agriculture and industry. The advance of science and technology has brought the different parts of the world into closer touch with one another than ever before. We are able to reach distant lands within a very short time. My favorite food. 
Out of all the foods, pizza is definitely my favorite. It is an Italian dish. It is made with pizza dough cheese and different toppings. You can eat pizza with cheese powder or hot sauce. I eat pizza at least once a month. I usually have it delivered at home. Sometimes I eat it at a pizzeria with my friends. My favorite type of pizza is cheese crust pizza. When I am hungry, I can eat up to four slices. I always love to eat pizza. My favorite sport. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. We play it on the basketball court at my school. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I love everything about basketball. My favorite music. Pop music is a piece of popular music in your country. Many people like listening anytime. Pop music is also my favorite music. I often listen pop music in my free time. I like it for some reasons. Firstly, it helps me relax whenever I feel down or tired. I usually listen to pop music to relax or fall asleep. Then. My feelings actually become better. Secondly, music helps me make friends. When we have free time, we usually talk about a song and sing it together. Finally, music also helps me work more effectively. It is true that I am very lazy of cleaning my room, but when I listen to a pop song. I do very well and fast. In sum up, music is an important part of my life, especially pop music. The importance of English. Nobody can deny the advantages of foreign languages in life now, especially English. As you know. I dream to become a teacher of English not only because my parents are teachers of English, and I want to follow their career, but also English brings me many benefits. For example, it can help me to communicate easily with many people in many countries all over the world. It's a useful and effective tool of communication in the times of international communication. English is a means for me to get access to knowledge, science, and technology. We must admit that English is an important part in many fields of life: trade, business, computer education, airmail, conferences. Telecommunication, literature, newspapers, and magazines. In brief, English is the golden key to open the treasure of knowledge and seize the opportunities for career, technology, and development. Shopping. I like to go shopping at a supermarket because of the following reasons. The supermarket is large. Comfortable and conveniently located. It takes me only a few minutes to walk there from my house. I usually don't have much time for shopping, so I have to buy things according to a plan or from shopping list. At the supermarket, I can buy exactly what I need very quickly because everything plays on open shelves. All I have to do is choose whatever I want and take it to the checkout counter. 
Apart from that, I don't have to bargain over prices before buying, yet I'm never afraid of being overcharged for anything. Goods are sold at fixed prices and the supermarket guarantees the things we buy. Should the items become faulty, the supermarket will either have them replaced or repaired for free. My birthday party. I'd like to tell you about my best birthday party. It was my fifth birthday. My parents gave me a big red bicycle as a present and celebrated a big party for me. The house was decorated with ribbons and balloons. My mother made a special birthday cake for me. It was a chocolate cake with sweet cherries on the top. My grandparents came to my birthday party too. All my cousins and friends were invited. I was very happy to see them. They brought many gifts for me, but I liked my grandparents' gift best. It was a big dragon-shaped kite. My friends sang happy birthday song when I cut the cake. After cutting the cake, we sang and danced lots of songs. Then we played many games, for example, tax, hide and seek and badminton. My mother gave prizes to the winners. All my cousins and friends had presents too. It was a lovely party. I love each moment of it. My best friend. I met my best friend on the first day of kindergarten. I was shy and hesitated to talk to others, but then she approached me. She invited me to play with her, and that made me very happy. After that, we became close and are rarely seen apart. She sticks by my side, rejoices my wins as her own, supports me, and I try to do the same. I truly cherish her and am grateful for her presence in my life. As we are growing up, our bond only strengthens more each day. I am blessed to have such a sincere and sweet best friend. My hobby. My name is Anne. I am a pupil. I am in the fourth form. I go to school. When I come home after school, I like to read. My hobby is reading. I have many friends. They have hobbies too. My friend Kate collects shells. She always brings a lot of beautiful shells from the seaside. My friend Sasha collects coins. He has a big collection of coins. My school's sports day. I'm going to talk about my school sports day. Our school has a sports day every spring and autumn. On our sports day, we play many sports such as soccer and basketball. We also have a dance competition. The most interesting part of my school sports day is when we do the relay race. Four people take turns to run 800 meters holding a baton. What's special about our school sports day is that I can bring my friends and family to play in one or two of the games. My favorite shop. I'm going to talk about my favorite shop. It is called Happy Toys, and it is near my school. I often go shopping there with my friend Kim. They sell all kinds of toys. I can always find new robots like Transformers there. 
I like the shop because there's a place for me to try new toys, and the shop is open every day. My city. My street is very quiet. There are few houses here, and we can ride our bikes and not be scared of cars. Our street is very safe. There aren't many cars here, so the air is quite fresh. There are lots of trees, and every house has a garden. Some people think it is boring to live here, as there are no shops and restaurants in my street. But I like my street very much. There are a lot of big shops and cars in my street. There are always crowds of people here hurrying to work or just shopping. The traffic is usually very busy, and there are traffic jams at rush hours. But I like my street. In the evening, shop windows look very nice, decorated with colored lights and mannequins. Repeat after me. About myself. My name is Nero. I am a girl. I am twenty-one years old. I am a pupil. I am in the third form. I live in United States. I am tall. I have green eyes and dark hair. I have a family. My family is big. I have a mother, a father. A sister and a brother. My mother is a teacher. My father is a driver. I go to school every day. Usually, I have five lessons. My favorite subject is maths. I am a good pupil. My hobby is swimming. I also like to read books and go for a walk with my dog Sam. My school. I like going to school very much. I've got lots of friends, and most of the lessons are interesting. The best thing about my school is that there are some fascinating teachers who help me to study better. I love studying physics because I understand anything about life when I study it. The worst thing about school is homework. My favorite book. I'm going to talk about a book that I've read recently. The book's name is Pinocchio. The main characters of the book are Pinocchio, his father Cepetto, and a big whale. The book is about an adventure involving mainly Pinocchio and his father. Every moment of the story is very interesting and important. I think the most interesting event is when Pinocchio saves his father from a big whale. At the end of the story, Pinocchio becomes a real boy, and he shows his love for his father. I enjoyed the book a lot. My favorite season. I think winter is the best season. In the winter, it is usually cold. Sometimes it is freezing. However, I like winter because it snows. When it snows, I go skiing with my family. I also enjoy eating roasted sweet potatoes in the winter. They taste really good. Best of all, winter has Christmas. At Christmas, I get many presents from my parents and friends. For these reasons. Winter is my favorite season. My winter holidays. Winter holidays start at the end of December and finish in January. We celebrate New Year and Christmas at this time. We don't go to school and can spend a lot of time outdoors. We always ski and skate at this time. I like to play snowballs and make a snowman with my friends. In the evening, I like to read books and watch TV. I like winter very much. My summer holidays. Summer holidays start in June and finish at the end of August. 
We don't go to school and can spend a lot of time outdoors. In summer, I can go to the river to swim with my parents. Sometimes we go to the forest with our friends. In August, my family goes to the seaside. I like to spend time there. My sister and I go swimming a lot. My parents like to sunbathe. In the evening, we go for a walk, play different games, and read. My teacher. In my school days, my favorite teacher was my English teacher, who was my class teacher too. He is a very good teacher and explains things to his students in the simplest way. His presentation skills are very good, and students listen to him very patiently. He tells stories and makes topics more interesting by involving the students in group activities. I was very fond of my teacher, though he is strict. He is very kind-hearted and gives chocolates and candies to his students on special occasions. He appreciates the gifts given by the students and loves them very much. My dream house. I have a dream of everything, a house of my dreams that has been made according to my needs, as I am very much artistic. I want a separate room for myself that has all the colors of life in it. I want a room that has all the equipment that is needed for creating beautiful art. My room house comprises of a personal balcony in it where I can stand and wave at my friends and can feel the rain coming into my room. In my opinion, a dream house should also have a beautiful personal bathroom in it where I can take a shower in a beautiful ceramic bathtub. My favorite subject. I learn many subjects in school, but the one I enjoy learning is history. History tells us how people lived ages ago. It also tells us how men had to struggle to make the world a better place to live in. Many pupils, however, do not like to read history. They say that there are too many names and dates to remember. But they do not understand that if we do not know about the past, we cannot understand the present properly. In fact, only a study of history will make us realize that everything we do today is the result of what our grandfathers and others before them did in the past. So, history is a long story of man's struggle through the ages. As we read the story, we learn many interesting things. I love history so much that I have a lot of history books in my house. Some day, I might even write a history book myself. My favorite teacher. Mr. Nero is my math teacher. She is my favorite teacher. Mr. Nero has short curly hair and wears thick glasses, which make her look strict. However, she is actually very approachable and is always ready to lend an ear to our problems. She is motherly and cares very much for us. I remember once when I fell and hurt my knee. Mr. Nero helped me to stop the bleeding and took me to the clinic. I was very grateful to her. I used to dislike maths when I was younger because I found it far too complicated. Mr. Nero always makes maths lessons interesting and easy to understand. She is very patient in explaining maths problems too, and always makes sure everyone understands. Under her guidance. My maths has improved by leaps and bounds. I have grown to love maths, and I always score high marks in my maths tests now. And it's all because of my favorite teacher. Science and its effect on our lives. 
One of the most striking features of the present century is the progress of science and its effects on almost every aspect of social life. Building on the foundation laid by the predecessors, the scientists of today are carrying their investigation into ever-widening fields of knowledge. Modern civilization depends largely on the scientist and inventor. We depend on the doctor who seeks the cause and cure of disease, the chemist who analyzes our food and purifies our water, the entomologist who wages war on the insect pests, the engineer who conquers time and space, and a host of other specialists who aid in the development of agriculture and industry. The advance of science and technology has brought the different parts of the world into closer touch with one another than ever before. We are able to reach distant lands within a very short time. My favorite food. Out of all the foods, pizza is definitely my favorite. It is an Italian dish. It is made with pizza dough cheese and different toppings. You can eat pizza with cheese powder or hot sauce. I eat pizza at least once a month. I usually have it delivered at home. Sometimes I eat it at a pizzeria with my friends. My favorite type of pizza is cheese crust pizza. When I am hungry, I can eat up to four slices. I always love to eat pizza. My favorite sport. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. We play it on the basketball court at my school. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I love everything about basketball. My favorite music. Pop music is a piece of popular music in your country. Many people like listening anytime. Pop music is also my favorite music. I often listen pop music in my free time. I like it for some reasons. Firstly, it helps me relax whenever I feel down or tired. I usually listen to pop music to relax or fall asleep. Then, my feelings actually become better. Secondly, music helps me make friends. When we have free time, we usually talk about a song and sing it together. Finally, music also helps me work more effectively. It is true that I am very lazy of cleaning my room, but when I listen to a pop song, I do very well and fast. In sum up, music is an important part of my life, especially pop music. The importance of English. Nobody can deny the advantages of foreign languages in life now, especially English. As you know, I dream to become a teacher of English not only because my parents are teachers of English. And I want to follow their career, but also English brings me many benefits. For example, it can help me to communicate easily with many people in many countries all over the world. It's a useful and effective tool of communication in the times of international communication. English is a means for me to get access to knowledge, 
science and technology. We must admit that English is an important part in many fields of life, trade, business, computer education, airmail, conferences, telecommunication, literature, newspapers, and magazines. In brief, English is the golden key to open the treasure of knowledge and seize the opportunities for career, technology, and development. Shopping I like to go shopping at a supermarket because of the following reasons. The supermarket is large, comfortable, and conveniently located. It took me only a few minutes to walk there from my house. I usually don't have much time for shopping, so I have to buy things according to Oplan or from shopping list. At the supermarket, I can buy exactly what I need very quickly because everything placed on open shelves. All I have to do is choose whatever I want and take it to the checkout counter. Apart from that, I don't have to bargain over prices before buying, yet I'm never afraid of being overcharged for anything. Goods are sold at fixed prices and the supermarket guarantees the things we buy. Should the items become faulty, the supermarket will either have them replaced or repaired for free. My birthday party I'd like to tell you about my best birthday party. It was my fifth birthday. My parents gave me a big red bicycle as a present and celebrated a big party for me. The house was decorated with ribbons and balloons. My mother made a special birthday cake for me. It was a chocolate cake with sweet cherries on the top. My grandparents came to my birthday party too. All my cousins and friends were invited. I was very happy to see them. They brought many gifts for me, but I liked my grandparents' gift best. It was a big dragon-shaped kite. My friends sang happy birthday song when I cut the cake. After cutting the cake, we sang and danced lots of songs. Then we played many games, for example, tax, hide and seek and badminton. My mother gave prizes to the winners. All my cousins and friends had presents too. It was a lovely party. I love each moment of it. My best friend. I met my best friend on the first day of kindergarten. I was shy and hesitated to talk to others, but then she approached me. She invited me to play with her, and that made me very happy. After that, we became close and are rarely seen apart. She sticks by my side, rejoices my wins as her own, supports me, and I try to do the same. I truly cherish her and am grateful for her presence in my life. As we are growing up, our bond only strengthens more each day. I am blessed to have such a sincere and sweet best friend. My hobby My name is Anne. I am a pupil. I am in the fourth form. I go to school. When I come home after school, I like to read. My hobby is reading. I have many friends. They have hobbies too. My friend Kate collects shells. She always brings a lot of beautiful shells from the seaside. My friend Sasha collects coins. He has a big collection of coins. 
My school sports day. I'm going to talk about my school sports day. Our school has a sports day every spring and autumn. On our sports day, we play many sports such as soccer and basketball. We also have a dance competition. The most interesting part of my school's sports day is when we do the relay race. Four people take turns to run 800 meters holding a baton. What's special about our school sports day is that I can bring my friends and family to play in one or two of the games. My favorite shop. I'm going to talk about my favorite shop. It is called Happy Toys, and it is near my school. I often go shopping there with my friend Kim. They sell all kinds of toys. I can always find new robots like Transformers there. I like the shop because there's a place for me to try new toys, and the shop is open every day. My city. My street is very quiet. There are few houses here and we can ride our bikes and not be scared of cars. Our street is very safe. There aren't many cars here so the air is quite fresh. There are lots of trees and every house has a garden. Some people think it is boring to live here as there are no shops and restaurants in my street, but I like my street very much. There are a lot of big shops and cars in my street. There are always crowds of people here hurrying to work or just shopping. The traffic is usually very busy and there are traffic jams at rush hours, but I like my street. In the evening shop windows look very nice decorated with colored lights and mannequins. I think you should again, to improve your English listen and practice again and on gain. Repeat after me. About myself. My name is Nero. I am a girl. I am 21 years old. I am a pupil. I am in the third form. I live in the United States. I am tall. I have green eyes and dark hair. I have a family. My family is big. I have a mother, a father, a sister, and a brother. My mother is a teacher. My father is a driver. I go to school every day. Usually I have five lessons. My favorite subject is maths. I am a good pupil. My hobby is swimming. I also like to read books and go for a walk with my dog Sam. My school. I like going to school very much. I've got lots of friends and most of the lessons are interesting. The best thing about my school is that there are some fascinating teachers who help me to study better. I love studying physics because I understand anything about life when I study it. The worst thing about school is homework. My favorite book. I'm going to talk about a book that I've read recently. The book's name is Pinocchio. The main characters of the book are Pinocchio, his father Cepetto, and a big whale. The book is about an adventure involving mainly Pinocchio and his father. Every moment of the story is very interesting and important. I think the most interesting event is when Pinocchio saves his father from a big whale. At the end of the story, 
Pinocchio becomes a real boy, and he shows his love for his father. I enjoyed the book a lot. My favorite season. I think winter is the best season. In the winter, it is usually cold. Sometimes it is freezing. However, I like winter because it snows. When it snows, I go skiing with my family. I also enjoy eating roasted sweet potatoes in the winter. They taste really good. Best of all, winter has Christmas. At Christmas, I get many presents from my parents and friends. For these reasons, winter is my favorite season. My winter holidays. Winter holidays start at the end of December and finish in January. We celebrate New Year and Christmas at this time. We don't go to school and can spend a lot of time outdoors. We always ski and skate at this time. I like to play snowballs and make a snowman with my friends. In the evening, I like to read books and watch TV. I like winter very much. My summer holidays. Summer holidays start in June and finish at the end of August. We don't go to school and can spend a lot of time outdoors. In summer, I can go to the river to swim with my parents. Sometimes we go to the forest with our friends. In August, my family goes to the seaside. I like to spend time there. My sister and I go swimming a lot. My parents like to sunbathe. In the evening, we go for a walk, play different games, and read. My teacher. In my school days, my favorite teacher was my English teacher, who was my class teacher too. He is a very good teacher and explains things to his students in the simplest way. His presentation skills are very good, and students listen to him very patiently. He tells stories and makes topics more interesting by involving the students in group activities. I was very fond of my teacher, though he is strict. He is very kind-hearted and gives chocolates and candies to his students on special occasions. He appreciates the gifts given by the students and loves them very much. My dream house. I have a dream of everything, a house of my dreams that has been made according to my needs, as I am very much artistic. I want a separate room for myself that has all the colors of life in it. I want a room that has all the equipment that is needed for creating beautiful art. My room house comprises of a personal balcony in it where I can stand and wave at my friends and can feel the rain coming into my room. In my opinion, a dream house should also have a beautiful personal bathroom in it where I can take a shower in a beautiful ceramic bathtub. My favorite subject. I learn many subjects in school, but the one I enjoy learning is history. History tells us how people lived ages ago. It also tells us how men had to struggle to make the world a better place to live in. Many pupils, however, do not like to read history. They say that there are too many names and dates to remember. But they do not understand that if we do not know about the past, we cannot understand the present properly. In fact, only a study of history will make us realize that everything we do today is the result of what our grandfathers and others before them did in the past. So, history is a long story of man's struggle through the ages. As we read the story, we learn many interesting things. I love history so much that I have a lot of history books in my house. Some day, 
I might even write a history book myself. My favorite teacher. Mr. Nero is my math teacher. She is my favorite teacher. Mr. Nero has short curly hair and wears thick glasses, which make her look strict. However, she is actually very approachable and is always ready to lend an ear to our problems. She is motherly and cares very much for us. I remember once when I fell and hurt my knee. Mr. Nero helped me to stop the bleeding and took me to the clinic. I was very grateful to her. I used to dislike maths when I was younger because I found it far too complicated. Mr. Nero always makes maths lessons interesting and easy to understand. She is very patient in explaining maths problems too, and always makes sure everyone understands. Under her guidance. My math has improved by leaps and bounds. I have grown to love math, and I always score high marks in my math tests now. And it's all because of my favorite teacher. Science and its effect on our lives. One of the most striking features of the present century is the progress of science. And its effects on almost every aspect of social life. Building on the foundation laid by the predecessors, the scientists of today are carrying their investigation into ever widening fields of knowledge. Modern civilization depends largely on the scientist and inventor. We depend on the doctor who seeks the cause and cure of disease, the chemist who analyzes our food and purifies our water, the entomologist who wages war on the insect pests, the engineer who conquers time and space, and a host of other specialists who aid in the development of agriculture and industry. The advance of science and technology has brought the different parts of the world into closer touch with one another than ever before. We are able to reach distant lands within a very short time. My favorite food. Out of all the foods, pizza is definitely my favorite. It is an Italian dish. It is made with pizza dough, cheese, and different toppings. You can eat pizza with cheese powder or hot sauce. I eat pizza at least once a month. I usually have it delivered at home. Sometimes I eat it at a pizzeria with my friends. My favorite type of pizza is cheese crust pizza. When I am hungry, I can eat up to four slices. I always love to eat pizza. My favorite sport. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. We play it on the basketball court at my school. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I love everything about basketball. My favorite music. Pop music is a piece of popular music in your country. Many people like listening anytime. Pop music is also my favorite music. I often listen pop music in my free time. I like it for some reasons. Firstly, it helps me relax whenever I feel down or tired. I usually listen to pop music to relax or fall asleep. Then 
My feelings actually become better. Secondly, music helps me make friends. When we have free time, we usually talk about a song and sing it together. Finally, music also helps me work more effectively. It is true that I am very lazy of cleaning my room, but when I listen to a pop song, I do very well and fast. In sum up, music is an important part of my life, especially pop music. The importance of English. Nobody can deny the advantages of foreign languages in life now, especially English. As you know, I dream to become a teacher of English not only because my parents are teachers of English. And I want to follow their career but also English brings me many benefits. For example, it can help me to communicate easily with many people in many countries all over the world. It's a useful and effective tool of communication in the times of international communication. English is a means for me to get access to knowledge, science, and technology. We must admit that English is an important part in many fields of life, trade, business, computer education, airmail, conferences, telecommunication, literature, newspapers, and magazines. In brief, English is the golden key to open the treasure of knowledge and seize the opportunities for career, technology, and development. Shopping I like to go shopping at a supermarket because of the following reasons. The supermarket is large, comfortable, and conveniently located. It takes me only a few minutes to walk there from my house. I usually don't have much time for shopping, so I have to buy things according to Oplan or from shopping list. At the supermarket, I can buy exactly what I need very quickly because everything plays on open shelves. All I have to do is choose whatever I want and take it to the checkout counter. Apart from that, I don't have to bargain over prices before buying, yet I'm never afraid of being overcharged for anything. Goods are sold at fixed prices and the supermarket guarantees the things we buy. Should the items become faulty, the supermarket will either have them replaced or repaired for free. My birthday party. I'd like to tell you about my best birthday party. It was my fifth birthday. My parents gave me a big red bicycle as a present and celebrated a big party for me. The house was decorated with ribbons and balloons. My mother made a special birthday cake for me. It was a chocolate cake with sweet cherries on the top. My grandparents came to my birthday party too. All my cousins and friends were invited. I was very happy to see them. They brought many gifts for me, but I liked my grandparents' gift best. It was a big dragon-shaped kite. My friends sang happy birthday song when I cut the cake. After cutting the cake, we sang and danced lots of songs. Then we played many games, for example, tax, hide and seek and badminton. My mother gave prizes to the winners. All my cousins and friends had presents, too. It was a lovely party. I love each moment of it. My best friend. I met my best friend on the first day of kindergarten. 
I was shy and hesitated to talk to others, but then she approached me. She invited me to play with her, and that made me very happy. After that, we became close and are rarely seen apart. She sticks by my side, rejoices my wins as her own, supports me, and I try to do the same. I truly cherish her and am grateful for her presence in my life. As we are growing up, our bond only strengthens more each day. I am blessed to have such a sincere and sweet best friend. My hobby. My name is Anne. I am a pupil. I am in the fourth form. I go to school. When I come home after school, I like to read. My hobby is reading. I have many friends. They have hobbies too. My friend Kate collects shells. She always brings a lot of beautiful shells from the seaside. My friend Sasha collects coins. He has a big collection of coins. My school sports day. I'm going to talk about my school sports day. Our school has a sports day every spring and autumn. On our sports day, we play many sports such as soccer and basketball. We also have a dance competition. The most interesting part of my school sports day is when we do the relay race. Four people take turns to run 800 meters holding a baton. What's special about our school sports day is that I can bring my friends and family to play in one or two of the games. My favorite shop. I'm going to talk about my favorite shop. It is called Happy Toys, and it is near my school. I often go shopping there with my friend Kim. They sell all kinds of toys. I can always find new robots like Transformers there. I like the shop because there's a place for me to try new toys, and the shop is open every day. My city. My street is very quiet. There are few houses here, and we can ride our bikes and not be scared of cars. Our street is very safe. There aren't many cars here, so the air is quite fresh. There are lots of trees, and every house has a garden. Some people think it is boring to live here, as there are no shops and restaurants in my street. But I like my street very much. There are a lot of big shops and cars in my street. There are always crowds of people here hurrying to work or just shopping. The traffic is usually very busy, and there are traffic jams at rush hours. But I like my street. In the evening, shop windows look very nice, decorated with colored lights and mannequins. My family. Let me tell you about my family. There are four people in my family. I have a father, a mother, and an older brother. I am the youngest child in my family. My father is a salesman, and my mother is a homemaker. My brother is a middle school student. He is two years older than I am. On the weekend. My family often eats out at a restaurant. I am very close to my family. I love them all. My home. My house has only two bedrooms. 
And it has a small garden at the back. It's good for me. Because it's near my school and the city center. When you come in the front door, there is a long hall to my living room. It's comfortable and cozy room. Go straight on. You can see my kitchen with the dining room and bathroom behind it. From there, you can walk straight into the garden. After that, there's my parents' bedroom, and finally, you come to my bedroom. I love my house very much because it's where I relax after studying at school. My school. I like going to school very much. I've got lots of friends, and most of the lessons are interesting. The best thing about my school is that there are some fascinating teachers who help me to study better. I love studying physics because I understand anything about life when I study it. The worst thing about school is homework. The teachers drain nice, but they always give us too much homework. I don't have time to do it. My childhood. As I look at the photographs taken during my childhood days, it seemed only yesterday that I was a little child. My childhood was a pleasant one. Being the only child in my family, my grandparents dotted on me. As a result, I was a rather mischievous boy. I liked snacks like chocolates, ice cream, and candies, but I hated proper meals. I can recall how my granny had to run after me, one hand holding a bowl of porridge and the other holding a spoon. I would run faster, shouting noisily as I played with my toy airplane. What a little brat I must have been! I also remember the time when I mistook the laundry soap for a bar of chocolate and wanted to munch it. Luckily, my granny saw it before I took the first bite. Since I have no brothers or sisters, I would play with my neighbors at times. There was a boy, Luke, whom I looked up to. He was very good at playing marbles, and he used to share the marbles he won with me. Now I am a big boy. My childhood days have become a beautiful past, which is worthy of recollection. My favorite sports. I like swimming. It is my favorite sport, for I know that it is healthy as well as good chance for one to exercise one's body. Last Sunday morning, as the weather was fine, I went to the beach with my family. It took us about two hours by car to arrive at our destination, and I felt very excited about it. When our car reached the top of the cliff overlooking the bay, now I admired the golden sand of the long beach. The blue sky and water, and the splendid country surroundings, which looked like an artist's painting. We put on our bathing suits and ran into the water. It was a very happy swim for me. We played ball, challenged each other in swimming a certain distance. Of course, I was always beaten by my bigger brothers. But I satisfied with my good effort. When we felt tired, we lay down on the beach to rest and to have some sun baths. At about noon, we returned to our tent and had lunch. About p.m., we went once more into the water and enjoyed the afternoon bath till p.m. Finally. We got ready to start for home. The importance of English. 
Nobody can deny the advantages of foreign languages in life now, especially English. As you know, I dream to become a teacher of English not only because my parents are teachers of English. And I want to follow their career, but also English brings me many benefits. For example, it can help me to communicate easily with many people in many countries all over the world. It's a useful and effective tool of communication in the times of international communication. English is a means for me to get access to knowledge, science, and technology. We must admit that English is an important part in many fields of life. Trade, business, computer education, airmail, conferences, telecommunication, literature, newspapers, and magazines. In brief, English is the golden key to open the treasures of knowledge. My birthday party. I'd like to tell you about my best birthday party. It was my fifth birthday. My parents gave me a big red bicycle as a present and celebrated a big party for me. The house was decorated with ribbons and balloons. My mother made a special birthday cake for me. It was a chocolate cake with sweet cherries on the top. My grandparents came to my birthday party, too. All my cousins and friends were invited. I was very happy to see them. They brought many gifts for me, but I liked my grandparents' gift best. It was a big dragon-shaped kite. My friends sang happy birthday song when I cut the cake. After cutting the cake, we sang and danced lots of songs. Then we played many games, for example, tax, hide and seek and badminton. My mother gave prizes to the winners. All my cousins and friends had presents, too. It was a lovely party. I love each moment of it. My school, too. I go to Wild Lake Elementary School in Chicago. My school is not far from my house. I usually walk to school. My school has four floors. My classroom is on the second floor. There is a computer lab, a library, and a music room in my school. My favorite place is the schoolyard. In my school days, my favorite teacher was my English teacher, who was my class teacher too. He is a very good teacher and explains things to his students in the simplest way. His presentation skills are very good, and students listen to him very patiently. He tells stories and makes topics more interesting by involving the students in group activities. I was very fond of my teacher though he is strict. He is very kind-hearted and gives chocolates and candies to his students on special occasions. He appreciates the gifts given by the students and loves them very much. My family, too. I go to Wild Lake Elementary School in Chicago. Families are an integral part of one's life. 
It does not matter if you have a small or big family, as long as you have one. I feel fortunate to be born into a family that has made me a better person. In my opinion, families are an essential part of one's being. In other words, you are a reflection of your family. The way your family brings you up, that is the type of person you become. If your family supports you in your good deeds, they have all the right to get angry with you when you do something bad. A family is a family, after all. You should love your family no matter how they are. My dream house. I have a dream of everything, a house of my dreams. That has been made according to my needs as I am very much artistic. I want a room that has all the equipment that is needed for creating beautiful art. I want a separate room for myself that has all the colors of life in it. My room house comprises of a personal balcony in it where I can stand and wave at my friends and can feel the rain coming into my room. In my opinion, a dream house should also have a beautiful personal bathroom in it where I can take a shower in a beautiful ceramic bathtub. My best friend. I met my best friend on the first day of kindergarten. I was shy and hesitated to talk to others, but then she approached me. She invited me to play with her, and that made me very happy. After that, we became close and are rarely seen apart. She sticks by my side, rejoices my wins as her own, supports me, and I try to do the same. I truly cherish her and am grateful for her presence in my life. As we are growing up, our bond only strengthens more each day. I am blessed to have such a sincere and sweet best friend. My parents the meaning of parents can be described as a second form of God who loves us, gives us care, and provides us with whatever we need. My parents love me very much and always give me what I want. They never think of anything else when I demand anything. They take very good care of me when I am ill. My mother makes very good food for me, and my father takes every care of me and fulfills every demand I need. My parents teach me valuable life lessons that can help me in the future. I love my parents a lot, and I wish I can make them proud with my deeds. My best friend, too. My name is Maria. I am nine years old. I have got one best friend. She is Alice. Her hobby is drawing. Her favorite color is blue. She likes eating ice cream. I met her two years ago. We don't fight. We both live in the same city. Her house is near the school, but my house is far from school. Her hair is short and my hair is long. We share secrets. She is very humorous. She always makes me laugh. She is kind too. She likes to share her food with me. My birthday is on January 5th and her birthday is on October 4th. She is so cute. She likes to swing and I like to slide. I feel happy when I am staying with her. And she feels happy when she is staying with me too. My last holiday. I'm going to talk about my last holiday. Last summer, I went to Mayon Mountain with my family. The mountain was huge and beautiful. 
We stayed in a campsite near the hiking trail. I climbed the mountain with my dad and swam in the valley with my sister. Her house is near the school, but my house is far from school. The most interesting part about my holiday was we saw wild deer and ate wild raspberries. I was fun, and I want to go there again. I am going to talk about my hobby. I like reading. I like to three read about everything. I started reading when I was six years old. My mom took me to a big bookstore, and I liked it a lot. My mom also read me many books. That is how I started my hobby. Now. I like to read travel and fashion magazines before I go to bed. What is special about my hobby is that I can imagine visiting different places and wearing pretty clothes when I read about them. I think you should watch again and again to improve your English. Okay, welcome to Return Watch video. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Repeat after me. My family. Let me tell you about my family. There are four people in my family. I have a father, a mother, and an older brother. I am the youngest child in my family. My father is a salesman, and my mother is a homemaker. My brother is a middle school student. He is two years older than I am. On the weekend. My family often eats out at a restaurant. I am very close to my family. I love them all. My home. My house has only two bedrooms, and it has a small garden at the back. It's good for me because it's near my school in the city center. When you come in the front door, there is a long hall to my living room. It's comfortable and cozy room. Go straight on. You can see my kitchen with the dining room and bathroom behind it. From there, you can walk straight into the garden. After that, there's my parents' bedroom, and finally, you come to my bedroom. I love my house very much because it's where I relax after studying at school. My school. I like going to school very much. I've got lots of friends, and most of the lessons are interesting. The best thing about my school is that there are some fascinating teachers who help me to study better. I love studying physics because I understand anything about life when I study it. The worst thing about school is homework. The teachers drain nice, but they always give us too much homework. I don't have time to do it. My childhood. As I looked at the photographs taken during my childhood days, it seemed only yesterday that I was a little child. My childhood was a pleasant one. Being the only child in my family. My grandparents doted on me. As a result, I was a rather mischievous boy. I liked snacks like chocolates, ice cream, and candies. But I hated proper meals. I can recall how my granny had to run after me, one hand holding a bowl of porridge and the other holding a spoon. I would run faster, shouting noisily as I played with my toy airplane. What a little brat I must have been! I also remember the time when I mistook the laundry soap for a bar of chocolate and wanted to munch it. Luckily, my granny saw it before I took the first bite. Since I have no brothers or sisters. I would play with my neighbors at times. There was a boy, Luke, whom I looked up to. 
He was very good at playing marbles, and he used to share the marbles he won with me. Now I am a big boy. My childhood days have become a beautiful past, which is worthy of recollection. My favorite sports. I like swimming. It is my favorite sport, for I know that it is healthy as well as good chance for one to exercise one's body. Last Sunday morning, as the weather was fine, I went to the beach with my family. It took us about two hours by car to arrive at our destination, and I felt very excited about it. When our car reached the top of the cliff overlooking the bay, now I admired the golden sand of the long beach. The blue sky and water, and the splendid country surroundings, which looked like an artist's painting. We put on our bathing suits and ran into the water. It was a very happy swim for me. We played ball, challenged each other in swimming a certain distance. Of course, I was always beaten by my bigger brothers. But I satisfied with my good effort. When we felt tired, we played down on the beach to rest and to have some sun baths. At about noon, we returned to our tent and had lunch. About p.m., we went once more into the water and enjoyed the afternoon bath till p.m. Finally. We got ready to start for home. The importance of English. Nobody can deny the advantages of foreign languages in life now, especially English. As you know, I dream to become a teacher of English not only because my parents are teachers of English. And I want to follow their career, but also English brings me many benefits. For example, it can help me to communicate easily with many people in many countries all over the world. It's a useful and effective tool of communication in the times of international communication. English is a means for me to get access to knowledge, science, and technology. We must admit that English is an important part in many fields of life: trade, business, computer education, airmail, conferences, telecommunication, literature. Newspapers and magazines. In brief, English is the golden key to open the treasures of knowledge. My birthday party. I'd like to tell you about my best birthday party. It was my fifth birthday. My parents gave me a big red bicycle as a present and celebrated a big party for me. The house was decorated with ribbons and balloons. My mother made a special birthday cake for me. It was a chocolate cake with sweet cherries on the top. My grandparents came to my birthday party too. All my cousins and friends were invited. I was very happy to see them. They brought many gifts for me, but I liked my grandparents' gift best. It was a big dragon-shaped kite. My friends sang happy birthday song when I cut the cake. 
After cutting the cake, we sang and danced lots of songs. Then we played many games, for example, tax, hide and seek, and badminton. My mother gave prizes to the winners. All my cousins and friends had presents, too. It was a lovely party. I love each moment of it. My school, too. I go to Wild Lake Elementary School in Chicago. My school is not far from my house. I usually walk to school. My school has four floors. My classroom is on the second floor. There is a computer lab, a library, and a music room in my school. My favorite place is the schoolyard. In my school days, my favorite teacher was my English teacher, who was my class teacher too. He is a very good teacher and explains things to his students in the simplest way. His presentation skills are very good, and students listen to him very patiently. He tells stories and makes topics more interesting by involving the students in group activities. I was very fond of my teacher, though he is strict. He is very kind-hearted and gives chocolates and candies to his students on special occasions. He appreciates the gifts given by the students and loves them very much. My family too. I go to Wild Lake Elementary School in Chicago. Families are an integral part of one's life. It does not matter if you have a small or big family, as long as you have one. I feel fortunate to be born into a family that has made me a better person. In my opinion, families are an essential part of one's being. In other words, you are a reflection of your family. The way your family brings you up, that is the type of person you become. If your family supports you in your good deeds, they have all the right to get angry with you when you do something bad. A family is a family, after all. You should love your family no matter how they are. My dream house. I have a dream of everything, a house of my dreams. That has been made according to my needs, as I am very much artistic. I want a room that has all the equipment that is needed for creating beautiful art. I want a separate room for myself that has all the colors of life in it. My room house comprises of a personal balcony in it where I can stand and wave at my friends and can feel the rain coming into my room. In my opinion, a dream house should also have a beautiful personal bathroom in it where I can take a shower in a beautiful ceramic bathtub. My best friend. I met my best friend on the first day of kindergarten. I was shy and hesitated to talk to others, but then she approached me. She invited me to play with her, and that made me very happy. After that, we became close and are rarely seen apart. She sticks by my side, rejoices my wins as her own, supports me, and I try to do the same. I truly cherish her and am grateful for her presence in my life. As we are growing up, our bond only strengthens more each day. I am blessed to have such a sincere and sweet best friend. My parents the meaning of parents can be described as a second form of God who loves us, gives us care, and provides us with whatever we need. 
My parents love me very much and always give me what I want. They never think of anything else when I demand anything. They take very good care of me when I am ill. My mother makes very good food for me, and my father takes every care of me and fulfills every demand I need. My parents teach me valuable life lessons that can help me in the future. I love my parents a lot, and I wish I can make them proud with my deeds. My best friend, too. My name is Maria. I am nine years old. I have got one best friend. She is Alice. Her hobby is drawing. Her favorite color is blue. She likes eating ice cream. I met her two years ago. We don't fight. We both live in the same city. Her house is near the school, but my house is far from school. Her hair is short and my hair is long. We share secrets. She is very humorous. She always makes me laugh. She is kind, too. She likes to share her food with me. My birthday is on January 5th and her birthday is on October 4th. She is so cute. She likes to swing and I like to slide. I feel happy when I am staying with her. And she feels happy when she is staying with me too. My last holiday. I'm going to talk about my last holiday. Last summer. I went to Mayong Mountain with my family. The mountain was huge and beautiful. We stayed in a campsite near the hiking trail. I climbed the mountain with my dad and swam in the valley with my sister. Her house is near the school, but my house is far from school. The most interesting part about my holiday was we saw wild deer and ate wild raspberries. I was fun, and I want to go there again. I am going to talk about my hobby. I like reading. I like to three read about everything. I started reading when I was six years old. My mom took me to a big bookstore and I liked it a lot. My mom also read me many books. That is how I started my hobby. Now, I like to read travel and fashion magazines before I go to bed. What is special about my hobby is that I can imagine visiting different places and wearing pretty clothes when I read about them. My family. Let me tell you about my family. There are four people in my family. I have a father, a mother, and an older brother. I am the youngest child in my family. My father is a salesman and my mother is a homemaker. My brother is a middle school student. He is two years older than I am. On the weekend, my family often eats out at a restaurant. I am very close to my family. I love them all. My home. My house has only two bedrooms. And it has a small garden at the back. It's good for me. Because it's near my school in the city center. When you come in the front door, there is a long hall to my living room. It's comfortable and cozy room. Go straight on you can see my kitchen with the dining room and bathroom behind it. From there you can walk straight into the garden. After that there's my parents' bedroom and finally you come to my bedroom. I love my house very much because it's where I relax after studying at school. My school. I like going to school very much. I've got lots of friends and most of the lessons are interesting. 
The best thing about my school is that there are some fascinating teachers who help me to study better. I love studying physics because I understand anything about life when I study it. The worst thing about school is homework. The teachers drain nice, but they always give us too much homework. I don't have time to do it. My childhood. As I look at the photographs taken during my childhood days, it seemed only yesterday that I was a little child. My childhood was a pleasant one. Being the only child in my family, my grandparents dotted on me. As a result, I was a rather mischievous boy. I liked snacks like chocolates, ice cream, and Katie's. But I hated proper meals. I can recall how my granny had to run after me. One hand holding a bowl of porridge and the other holding a spoon. I would run faster, shouting noisily as I played with my toy aeroplane. What a little brat I must have been. I also remember the time when I mistook the laundry soap for a bar of chocolate and wanted to much it. Luckily, my granny saw it before I took the first bite. Since I have no brothers or sisters, I would play with my neighbors at times. There was a boy, Luke, whom I looked up to. He was very good at playing marbles and he used to share the marbles he won with me. Now I am a big boy. My childhood haze have become a beautiful past which is worthy of recollection. My favorite sports? I like swimming. It is my favorite sport for I know that it is healthy as well as good chance for one to exercise one's body. Last Sunday morning, as the weather was fine, I went to the beach with my family. It took us about two hours by car to arrive at our destination. And I felt very excited about it. When our car reached the top of the cliff overlooking the bay, now I admired the golden sand of the long beach the blue sky and water, and the splendid country surroundings which looked like an artist's painting. We put on our bathing suits and ran into the water. It was a very happy swim for me. We played ball, challenged each other in swimming a certain distance. Of course, I was always beaten by my beggar brothers, but I satisfied with my good effort. When we felt tired, we played down on the beach to rest and to have some sun baths. At about noon, we returned to our tent and had lunch. About p.m., we went once more into the water and enjoyed the afternoon bath till p.m. Finally, we got ready to start for home. The importance of English Nobody can deny the advantages of foreign languages in life now, especially English. As you know, I dream to become a teacher of English not only because my parents are teachers of English. And I want to follow their career, but also English brings me many benefits. For example, it can help me to communicate easily with many people in many countries all over the world. It's a useful and effective tool of communication in the times of international communication. English is a means for me to get access to knowledge, 
science and technology. We must admit that English is an important part in many fields of life. Trade, business, computer education, airmail, conferences, telecommunication, literature, newspapers, and magazines. In brief, English is the golden key to open the treasures of knowledge. My birthday party. I'd like to tell you about my best birthday party. It was my fifth birthday. My parents gave me a big red bicycle as a present and celebrated a big party for me. The house was decorated with ribbons and balloons. My mother made a special birthday cake for me. It was a chocolate cake with sweet cherries on the top. My grandparents came to my birthday party too. All my cousins and friends were invited. I was very happy to see them. They brought many gifts for me, but I liked my grandparents' gift best. It was a big dragon-shaped kite. My friends sang happy birthday song when I cut the cake. After cutting the cake, we sang and danced lots of songs. Then we played many games, for example, tax, hide and seek and badminton. My mother gave prizes to the winners. All my cousins and friends had presents, too. It was a lovely party. I love each moment of it. My school, too. I go to Wild Lake Elementary School in Chicago. My school is not far from my house. I usually walk to school. My school has four floors. My classroom is on the second floor. There is a computer lab, a library, and a music room in my school. My favorite place is the schoolyard. In my school days, my favorite teacher was my English teacher, who was my class teacher too. He is a very good teacher and explains things to his students in the simplest way. His presentation skills are very good, and students listen to him very patiently. He tells stories and makes topics more interesting by involving the students in group activities. I was very fond of my teacher though he is strict. He is very kind-hearted and gives chocolates and candies to his students on special occasions. He appreciates the gifts given by the students and loves them very much. My family too. I go to Wild Lake Elementary School in Chicago. Families are an integral part of one's life. It does not matter if you have a small or big family, as long as you have one. I feel fortunate to be born into a family that has made me a better person. In my opinion, families are an essential part of one's being. In other words, you are a reflection of your family. The way your family brings you up, that is the type of person you become. If your family supports you in your good deeds, they have all the right to get angry with you when you do something bad. A family is a family, after all. You should love your family no matter how they are. My dream house.
I have a dream of everything, a house of my dreams. That has been made according to my needs as I am very much artistic. I want a room that has all the equipment that is needed for creating beautiful art. I want a separate room for myself that has all the colors of life in it. My room house comprises of a personal balcony in it where I can stand and wave at my friends and can feel the rain coming into my room. In my opinion, a dream house should also have a beautiful personal bathroom in it where I can take a shower in a beautiful ceramic bathtub. My best friend. I met my best friend on the first day of kindergarten. I was shy and hesitated to talk to others, but then she approached me. She invited me to play with her, and that made me very happy. After that, we became close and are rarely seen apart. She sticks by my side, rejoices my wins as her own, supports me, and I try to do the same. I truly cherish her and am grateful for her presence in my life. As we are growing up, our bond only strengthens more each day. I am blessed to have such a sincere and sweet best friend. My parents The meaning of parents can be described as a second form of God who loves us, gives us care, and provides us with whatever we need. My parents love me very much and always give me what I want. They never think of anything else when I demand anything. They take very good care of me when I am ill. My mother makes very good food for me, and my father takes every care of me and fulfills every demand I need. My parents teach me valuable life lessons that can help me in the future. I love my parents a lot, and I wish I can make them proud with my deeds. My best friend, too. My name is Maria. I am nine years old. I have got one best friend. She is Alice. Her hobby is drawing. Her favorite color is blue. She likes eating ice cream. I met her two years ago. We don't fight. We both live in the same city. Her house is near the school, but my house is far from school. Her hair is short and my hair is long. We share secrets. She is very humorous. She always makes me laugh. She is kind too. She likes to share her food with me. My birthday is on January 5th and her birthday is on October 4th. She is so cute. She likes to swing and I like to slide. I feel happy when I am staying with her. And she feels happy when she is staying with me too. My last holiday. I'm going to talk about my last holiday. Last summer. I went to Mayong Mountain with my family. The mountain was huge and beautiful. We stayed in a campsite near the hiking trail. I climbed the mountain with my dad and swam in the valley with my sister. Her house is near the school, but my house is far from school. The most interesting part about my holiday was we saw wild deer and ate wild raspberries. I was fun, and I want to go there again. I am going to talk about my hobby. I like reading. I like to three read about everything. I started reading when I was six years old. My mom took me to a big bookstore and I liked it a lot. 
My mom also read me many books. That is how I started my hobby. Now, I like to read travel and fashion magazines before I go to bed. What is special about my hobby is that I can imagine visiting different places and wearing pretty clothes when I read about them. I think you should watch again and again to improve your English. Okay, welcome to return watch video. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Repeat after me. My family. Let me tell you about my family. There are four people in my family. I have a father, a mother, and an older brother. I am the youngest child in my family. My father is a salesman and my mother is a homemaker. My brother is a middle school student. He is two years older than I am. On the weekend, my family often eats out at a restaurant. I am very close to my family. I love them all. My home. My house has only two bedrooms. And it has a small garden at the back. It's good for me. Because it's near my school in the city center. When you come in the front door, there is a long hall to my living room. It's comfortable and cozy room. Go straight on you can see my kitchen with the dining room and bathroom behind it. From there you can walk straight into the garden. After that there's my parents' bedroom and finally you come to my bedroom. I love my house very much because it's where I relax after studying at school. My school. I like going to school very much. I've got lots of friends and most of the lessons are interesting. The best thing about my school is that there are some fascinating teachers who help me to study better. I love studying physics because I understand anything about life when I study it. The worst thing about school is homework. The teachers drain nice, but they always give us too much homework. I don't have time to do it. My childhood. As I look at the photographs taken during my childhood days, it seemed only yesterday that I was a little child. My childhood was a pleasant one. Being the only child in my family, my grandparents dotted on me. As a result, I was a rather mischievous boy. I liked snacks like chocolates, ice cream, and Katie's. But I hated proper meals. I can recall how my granny had to run after me. One hand holding a bowl of porridge and the other holding a spoon. I would run faster, shouting noisily as I played with my toy airplane. What a little brat I must have been. I also remember the time when I mistook the laundry soap for a bar of chocolate and wanted to much it. Luckily, my granny saw it before I took the first bite. Since I have no brothers or sisters, I would play with my neighbors at times. There was a boy, Luke, whom I looked up to. He was very good at playing marbles and he used to share the marbles he won with me. Now I am a big boy. My childhood haze have become a beautiful past which is worthy of recollection. My favorite sports. I like swimming. It is my favorite sport for I know that it is healthy as well as good chance for one to exercise one's body. Last Sunday morning, as the weather was fine, I went to the beach with my family. It took us about two hours by car to arrive at our destination. And I felt very excited about it. When our car reached the top of the cliff overlooking the bay, 
Now I admire the golden sand of the long beach, the blue sky and water, and the splendid country surroundings which looked like an artist's painting. We put on our bathing suits and ran into the water. It was a very happy swim for me. We played ball, challenged each other in swimming a certain distance. Of course, I was always beaten by my beggar brothers, but I satisfied with my good effort. When we felt tired, we played down on the beach to rest and to have some sun baths. At about noon, we returned to our tent and had lunch. About p.m., we went once more into the water and enjoyed the afternoon bath till p.m. Finally, we got ready to start for home. The importance of English. Nobody can deny the advantages of foreign languages in life now, especially English. As you know, I dream to become a teacher of English not only because my parents are teachers of English. And I want to follow their career but also English brings me many benefits. For example, it can help me to communicate easily with many people in many countries all over the world. It's a useful and effective tool of communication in the times of international communication. English is a means for me to get access to knowledge, science, and technology. We must admit that English is an important part in many fields of life. Trade, business, computer education, airmail, conferences, telecommunication, literature, newspapers, and magazines. In brief, English is the golden key to open the treasures of knowledge. My birthday party. I'd like to tell you about my best birthday party. It was my fifth birthday. My parents gave me a big red bicycle as a present and celebrated a big party for me. The house was decorated with ribbons and balloons. My mother made a special birthday cake for me. It was a chocolate cake with sweet cherries on the top. My grandparents came to my birthday party too. All my cousins and friends were invited. I was very happy to see them. They brought many gifts for me, but I liked my grandparents' gift best. It was a big dragon-shaped kite. My friends sang happy birthday song when I cut the cake. After cutting the cake, we sang and danced lots of songs. Then we played many games, for example, tax, hide and seek and badminton. My mother gave prizes to the winners. All my cousins and friends had presents, too. It was a lovely party. I love each moment of it. My school, too. I go to Wild Lake Elementary School in Chicago. My school is not far from my house. I usually walk to school. My school has four floors. My classroom is on the second floor. There is a computer lab, 
A library and a music room in my school. My favorite place is the schoolyard. In my school days, my favorite teacher was my English teacher, who was my class teacher too. He is a very good teacher and explains things to his students in the simplest way. His presentation skills are very good, and students listen to him very patiently. He tells stories and makes topics more interesting by involving the students in group activities. I was very fond of my teacher, though he is strict. He is very kind-hearted and gives chocolates and candies to his students on special occasions. He appreciates the gifts given by the students and loves them very much. My family too. I go to Wild Lake Elementary School in Chicago. Families are an integral part of one's life. It does not matter if you have a small or big family, as long as you have one. I feel fortunate to be born into a family that has made me a better person. In my opinion, families are an essential part of one's being. In other words, you are a reflection of your family. The way your family brings you up, that is the type of person you become. If your family supports you in your good deeds, they have all the right to get angry with you when you do something bad. A family is a family, after all. You should love your family no matter how they are. My dream house. I have a dream of everything. A house of my dreams. That has been made according to my needs, as I am very much artistic. I want a room that has all the equipment that is needed for creating beautiful art. I want a separate room for myself that has all the colors of life in it. My room house comprises of a personal balcony in it where I can stand and wave at my friends and can feel the rain coming into my room. In my opinion, a dream house should also have a beautiful personal bathroom in it where I can take a shower in a beautiful ceramic bathtub. My best friend. I met my best friend on the first day of kindergarten. I was shy and hesitated to talk to others, but then she approached me. She invited me to play with her, and that made me very happy. After that, we became close and are rarely seen apart. She sticks by my side, rejoices my wins as her own supports me, and I try to do the same. I truly cherish her and am grateful for her presence in my life. As we are growing up, our bond only strengthens more each day. I am blessed to have such a sincere and sweet best friend. My Parents the meaning of parents can be described as a second form of God who loves us, gives us care, and provides us with whatever we need. My parents love me very much and always give me what I want. They never think of anything else when I demand anything. They take very good care of me when I am ill. My mother makes very good food for me, and my father takes every care of me and fulfills every demand I need. My parents teach me valuable life lessons that can help me in the future. I love my parents a lot, and I wish I can make them proud with my deeds. My best friend, too. My name is Maria. I am nine years old. I have got one best friend. She is Alice. Her hobby is drawing. 
Her favorite color is blue. She likes eating ice cream. I met her two years ago. We don't fight. We both live in the same city. Her house is near the school, but my house is far from school. Her hair is short and my hair is long. We share secrets. She is very humorous. She always makes me laugh. She is kind too. She likes to share her food with me. My birthday is on January 5th and her birthday is on October 4th. She is so cute. She likes to swing and I like to slide. I feel happy when I am staying with her, and she feels happy when she is staying with me too. My last holiday. I'm going to talk about my last holiday. Last summer, I went to Mayon Mountain with my family. The mountain was huge and beautiful. We stayed in a campsite near the hiking trail. I climbed the mountain with my dad and swam in the valley with my sister. Her house is near the school, but my house is far from school. The most interesting part about my holiday was we saw wild deer and ate wild raspberries. I was fun, and I want to go there again. I am going to talk about my hobby. I like reading. I like to three read about everything. I started reading when I was six years old. My mom took me to a big bookstore, and I liked it a lot. My mom also read me many books. That is how I started my hobby. Now, I like to read travel and fashion magazines before I go to bed. What is special about my hobby is that I can imagine visiting different places and wearing pretty clothes when I read about them.